Nationals and Rockies coming up just after the top of the hour, the middle game of this three-game series. This is that guessing game that we have to play a lot. It's not raining yet, but we are officially in a rain delay. But they have announced a scheduled start time of 8.30. Ready for baseball. Trevor Williams for the Nationals making his 21st start of the year, 5-5 five five record and a 4.38 earned run average. Profar drives it to center field, but there's room out there for Alex Call. He reaches up and grabs it for the opening out. Pitch swung on and hit into shallow right center field. Coming on to make the grab is Thomas, the right fielder. That's out number two. And McMahon with a shot to right center. Lane Thomas is going to cut it off. Is he going to try him with two outs? Why would you? Is it another assist? It is. And that will retire the side. Lane Thomas with his 11th outfield assist of the year. Leads the National League. Ties him for the Major League lead in outfield assists. Washington coming to bat. For Austin Gomer, 21st start of the season. He's been on a nice little roll. He's feeling confident. He's throwing all of his pitches. First pitch swinging C.J. Abrams. Michael Tolia dives, grabs it, and races to the bag ahead of Abrams to get the out. Lane Thomas in at 293, 16 big flies, and 54 driven in. And a long throw for Tovar, and it's right on the money. Candelario swing and a miss. Ball gets away from Diaz. He'll have to throw it down to first in time to get Candelario. A strikeout, and the Nats are done in their half of the first. It's too quickly gone, and that'll bring up Elias Diaz. And that's ripped into center field, and it's a base hit. Grab to the center fielder call and Diaz with a solid single to center field has got to feel good. Smile on his face at first base. Here's Michael Tolia switch hitter hitting left handed. Tolia pulls this down the line. This is fair. Remember running with the pitch was Diaz and he's going to get a green light and the relay to the plate is offline. Tolia to third. So the Rockies take a one nothing lead. Alan Trejo coming off a four hit night yesterday. This is line to left, a base hit for Treo to make it two to nothing. Stay hot, Alan Treo. Bottom of the second, Rockies two nationals, nothing. Joey Manessa's career, one for three, a double right on the hands and down to third for McMahon. Safe. And it looks like Tolia had to come off the bag. McMahon, usually reliable, really slung one kind of high and outside to his first baseman there. And a ball chopped to the pitcher, slow roller. Decided to go to first. There's a ball out to left center. Joey Maness has backed up, and he can only go to third on a ball that was hit in between the infielders. Absolutely stung by Garrett. Nationals down 2 nothing chance here with runners on the corners in the home half of the second. It swung on, hit in the air to deep left field. This is going to be over the left fielder's head and one hop up against the wall. Manessis has scored. Garrett speeding around third, stumbled. Here's the throw to the plate. It is in time for the outs and keeps the Rockies in the lead the end of two Rockies two Nats one two to one Rockies lead here at the top of the third inning second at bat for Tovar and he lines this ball to deep left if it's fair it's gone off the foul pole home run Tovar and for Tovar he's now in double figures as a rookie at home runs with 10 and the Rockies take a 3-1 lead and this is bounced slowly to Abrams, and it's going to be an infield hit for McMahon. Gritchick will hit this in the left center field. Coming on his call, and he's going to play it on one bounce. He couldn't get it. He'll toss it into second base. McMahon holds right there. And this ball in the air to deep left. Stone Garrett started in, now moving back, now near the wall. Brings it in, and McMahon, as he should, goes back in tag. So did Gritchick. Runners at second and third, one out with Diaz coming up. Line drive, base hit through the left side. One run is scored. Gritchick gets a stop sign. Diaz makes it four to one. The Rockies just keep piling up hits. End of the sixth inning. Trevor Williams has completed his warm up tosses. Rockies four, the Nationals one. Williams at 84 pitches. In on the hands. And a fly to right. Lane Thomas. So oh, yeah. Knows that part of the ballpark so well. And to the barrier to make that catch. So we're going to pop up into shallow right center. Chasing back is Chavis. Now to a stop. He'll make the catch of the little blue pop up. And Williams, after giving up nine hits in the first three innings, is looking for his third consecutive one, two, three inning.
Looping pop-up off third, foul ground, chasing over his Candelario. He'll make a running catch on the blue pop-up. And Trevor Williams has his third consecutive 1-2-3 inning after giving up nine hits in three. Top of the seventh, Trevor Williams done after 93 pitches, retiring his last 10 batters. And a drive, right field, it's a base hit. And well done by Brenton Doyle. Fastball at 98, he's able to turn around on the outside edge and take it the other way. Pitch to Profar is ripped in the right center field. That's a base hit. Doyle will hit second. He's going to head to third base without a throw. With the Rockies leading 4-1, they're threatening again. It's raining harder now. Oh, and here it comes. Pull him off the field. It's starting to intensify. So 10:08 local time. We'll have our second rain delay. Nationals are back on the field. We're about to resume here at National Park. Looks like Jose Ferrer will replace Amos Willingham here. Profar a short lead at first. Swing and a miss. And there's the strikeout. Second out of the inning. So he gets credit for the strikeout. Yes, sir. Swing a ground ball chopped right side, a two hopper fielded by Chavis. He'll jog to her first and flip the ball to Manessis underhand to end a very lengthy, because of a delay, top of the seventh. 4 1 Colorado for the bottom of the seventh. Hand faced Garrett last night and struck him out. And oh. that ball is cranked, heading to the bullpen or farther. See you later. We didn't have any thunder during the rain delay, but we just had some after the delay. And the Nats are back to within two. 4 2 Rockies, eighth inning. Jose Ferrer, who came on and got the last two outs of the seventh, will give up a base hit to Randall Gritchick on the first pitch of the eighth inning. Runner going, and Gritchick steals second. So an opportunity for Elias Diaz now. Ground ball toward the hole, on through. Gritchick will get a green light. Stone Garrett's throw toward the plate is not in time. And that stolen base enormous as the Rockies add on. Five to two. The Nationals in the bottom of the eighth inning. Rockies five, Nationals two. Well, here's Jamer Candelario. He's the tying run at the plate here now. Oh, ball yeah. well hit. Go, right go. center. Abram scores. Thomas heading for third. Into second is Candelario. Rocky's got it back in a hurry, but here come the scrappy Nets, and we've got a 5 3 game. And who would you want up there with runners in scoring position? Joey is 0 for 1 against Lawrence. Yeah. Front door, there it goes. See you later. And how about these Nets? Nationals have the lead for the first time in this game, six to five. Kyle Finnegan on the pitch here in the top half of the ninth inning. And this might be your ball game. Garcia to Smith. Save number 14 for Kyle Finnegan, preserving the first major league win for left-hander Jose Ferrer.